We are still following that breaking news from Baltimore this morning. Right now, boats are in the water to rescue up to 11 people after a portion of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed. Right now, let's get to the latest from Jacqueline Quinn from our sister station in Washington, D.C. This is the ramp here that would have normally led to the bridge here. You would have seen the lights and the steep incline cars crossing over it. Of course, right now we don't see that because of this collapse. So Baltimore Fire, they've come out saying that they got the call about 1.30 this morning, and now they have multiple agencies out here in what is now a massive rescue effort to save the people who were crossing the bridge at the time that it fell into the water. We can see uh, that it was a cargo ship on the video that hit what looked like pillars or support beam. Uh, bringing the rest of the bridge, uh, folding it down like an accordion. Now, this is uh, usually a heavy industrial area for shipping, so we typically see a lot of trucks out here, but keep in mind that I-695 has been shut down in both directions because of this. Uh, now, on our way here, we did hear Kevin Cartwright with Baltimore Fire telling reporters that they're looking for seven people uh, that they're trying to rescue at this time in the water. There may be a tractor trailer and there as well. Dive team members now working as we speak to potentially find those people, save them. There could be more as we find out as it gets lighter. We are waiting for an update from officials. For now, I'm Jacqueline Quinn in Baltimore. We'll send it back to you. And of course, once we get more information, we're going to make sure we bring that to you at home here on air and on 9news.com. Good morning.